Her word this day <laughs> is booger. Thank you, Carla, for editing that part out. Hi there, Chiggity. Thanks so much for joining us today. We're Two Real Chicks. I'm Carla. I'm Cindy. And you have come to the right place if you're looking for some spooky Halloween ideas with no sugar that won't rot the kids' teeth out. Cindy, the fabulous recipe queen and the fabulous crafting queen has got something and someone very special for you today. That's right. We are going to talk about non-candy treats for trick-or-treaters. With so many gluten allergies and food allergies and just allergies in general. Peanuts, wheat. How we existed for 5,000 years before now, I don't know, but we know we need to pay attention to these allergies. I know how we did it, but never mind. We won't get on that table. Don't get her started. Continue, please. Anyhow, I thought it would be fun to incorporate a special guest with me and help me make these wonderful little goodies to give away to the trick-or-treaters this year. And that starts right now. We are going to do some fun stuff. I'd like to introduce you to the girl who owns my heart. This is my baby girl, Malia. Speak. Hi. We have decided this would be a good time to not give out candy for trick-or-treaters. So we have come up with the help of the internet some really cool things to do. So here we go. This is my favorite, and this is why she's here. We're gonna make some slime. Yeah. We got us to flow here to make it nice and thick. She got the clear glue. Two bottles. Two. Do I put the glue in first? Yes, you put in the glue first. Wah. Make sure you get all of it out. I think you're supposed to go, wah! <laughs> it pops a lot too. I forgot to mention And it gets a lot of bubbles. We yeah. got the glue in. Yeah, all the glue is out of All the glue. Apart from that little bit that doesn't want to come out. Yeah. And now we're going to add in our food coloring because, yeah. That's we want to make it a, a, a slimy green. A slimy I understand green. it's two drops of yellow and one drop of blue. Yeah, because the blue is really dark, so you don't want to add too much. Then let me add in my little... Baba! Want me to stir? Yes, please. There you go. Actually, no, you stir. Okay. And it'll make it this slimy green that it looks like it looks like snot. It looks like boogers. Ew. This is really cool. My daughter makes this stuff all the time. It's fun. I cannot tell you how much detergent we have gone through. We've gone through two bottles now. And I'm not talking small. We're talking about big ones. And big bottles of glue. The the gallon ones. Well, here we go. We this got our booger. We got our booger green. <laughs> now I'm going to add in the stuff flow and mix it. So, Stay flow. You only want to add in a little bit at a time though because if you add in too much at a time, then it gets everywhere. And that is not fun. Alright, I think we need some more. Yeah, it's definitely. <laughs> it's starting. <laughs> she is getting really satisfied with this, I can tell. <laughs> uh, it's turning into slime. Oh, wow. You're gonna like slime after this. Oh, I hate this mess. <laughs> then why are you making it? Ooh. I'm giving it away. You are? I don't want to do it. Yeah, well, nice Well, at try. least your fans get it. I want to hear fans. Are you a subscriber? Yes, definitely. Fake it. Please. 
That's pretty cool, the chemistry behind slime. Yeah. It's like a big old science project. It's not. <laughs> it looks like my boogers after being having the flu. <laughs> yeah, that's my daughter. <laughs> She's so special. Do we need some more? Yeah. It's boogery. Go ahead and go. That's enough. Yeah. Ooh, Look at this. Dying on me. It's still not done yet. Oh, sorry. <laughs> you gotta store it like a big booger. It looks like a big booger. Thank you for sharing. Yeah. And for any one of you that gets this, you might feel a little sticky. Do 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 She's just adding a little bit at a time, like maybe not even a quarter of a cup. I wish it came with a little measuring cup like it does on regular laundry detergent. Amazing. It just comes together. Look. It just sort of comes it together. Don't let it come out the thing. That'll be See? Nice. Ew, <laughs> slime. Yeah. You get it. Is it right? Almost. Almost done. Just gotta stir it a little more. And then I'll pick it up. Yes, her word this day <laughs> is booger. Today, yesterday was butt. This is a clean video <laughs> channel. Can you keep your comments to yourself? <laughs> It'll be fun. Ooh, I'm making a mess over here. <laughs> oh my gosh, you are so, she's, all about keeping everything clean. Sorry, it's the mommy. Look at that, she's got slime. Ugh, almost slime. Uh, it's falling. Get out the special stuff. We're gonna add in these little spiders. spiders. And we'll put the link down there where we got them from. I got them off of Amazon. Yeah. This is actually very inexpensive. It's it can be a little messy, but I'm it's telling really you, it's really fun. Kids love this mess, and it's easy to clean up when you're done. If you're like me, it barely comes off the grass. Then, so don't do it on a white space that you know that it's gonna be hard to spiders. <laughs> Look at all the spiders. Very cool, very cool. It's relatively inexpensive to make. You know, you can get the glue at Walmart for like 97 cents. Or you can go to Dollar Tree and get for dollar. If they don't have it at Walmart. Yeah. And you can use white glue as well. It doesn't I have, have a ton of white glue. It doesn't have to be clear. Or you can get purple glue. I heard that doesn't work as well. And what we're gonna do, is this all done now? No, I need some more stay glow. Oh, my bad. Yeah, that's good. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Eh, it'll work. It'll just make it a little firm. Mer. <laughs> just get in there. This is something that your kids can enjoy kids playing Kids love with. this. So if you're a mom or something, or. Ooh, spiders! I Spiders. Depends on what type of spider it is. If it's a big fat one, keep it away. Keep Not it a fan. away. <laughs> like you just play with it.
You're like, I don't like spiders, I don't like slime, keep that away from me. It needs some more stay flow, mommy. <laughs> the stay flow what keeps it from being sticky? Yeah. Can't believe you let me make it. You're like, I figured you would make it. All in the name of our Slime. channel. Slime. Mm. Crazy. The blog where I got this from has all the links to where she got the the stay puff. I mean, stay, stay flow. flow. Stay puff from marshmallows. I love marshmallows. The stay flow, the glue, um, and and the spiders, as well as these cute little labels. The logos for your little package. Can you tell them the link for your little? And you can put them in little treat bags. I opted for these that have a a, um, a rounder shape. A rounder shape, but any treat bag will do. Is it done yet? Almost. Got some down here at the bottom looking at the Yay! This is the neat place. What you can do is you can download this little tag and print it off on your printer. There's also, uh, this is the ink friendly page. There's also one that's darker, you know, has more black and and you use more ink or toner. But just run them off and cut them out. I cut happen em. to have cut them. I happen to have a little hole punch that will do the job nicely. Oh no, it's faulty. <laughs> we got our booger spider sandwich. And this is a two hole punch, I mean two inch hole punch. And if you are not able to find stay flow, then you can use laundry detergent. Mostly Tide because I've tried a lot of them. Gainer Tide works the best. And then you take, after you've got it cut out, you take yourself a little hole puncher. Clip it. Ta-da. And just get some, some twine. Okay, I think it's ready. Okay. We're gonna put some of that in here. Just a little bit. Okay. It has to go to a lot of kids. Like this one? Mm-hmm. More. And just tie it on. And here we have our little bag of slime, something for little kids to play with. And we're just gonna make a, lay it in the basket, because we have some other suggestions for you. I need you to pay attention. Place that I saw this at, they were using the little um, uh, glow in the dark bracelets and necklaces, but you know, for little kids that are like under three, I was a little worried about that because of the little plastic stuff. So I found some cute little bands that glow in the dark. And then you could just attach one of these little tags to that. It says, light up the night, this Halloween. And I think this is a one inch or one and a half inch stamp, but I'm just going to cut it out real quick. You don't need a hole punch. These are just PC, easy PC, easy to do. Punch a hole and just tie it on. So now they have a cute little bracelet that 
won't have any pieces to it that would accidentally go down their throat. Go down their throat. That's right. Another option that we saw. Bubbles, like neon bubbles. I got these at Amazon too. These little bubbles. I think these are adorable. And they came with enjoy your boo-boos. They spell boo-boos. Just kind of cut this out. And I'm not even going to worry about it. Doesn't have to be perfect. Nothing's perfect. Yeah, if you have a silhouette machine or a cameo machine, you could probably get this this cut out perfectly. I actually have one, but I didn't feel like bringing it up. Didn't feel like doing it. And I wanted this to be something that anybody could do, whether they had a machine or not. And we have enjoy your boo boos. And we're just going to tie it around the bubbles. The boobles. The boobles. Ta-da! That's three gifts so far. Something else that kids really love are fangs. Fangs. Now, I did see these at the Dollar Tree. I think there were like eight of them for a dollar. Might have been more than that. Like 10 or 12 for a dollar. Again, another printable sheet. Have a fantastic Halloween. Just love it. Simple, easy. And you know you don't even have to do the labels if you don't want to. I mean, just stick them in there. Just stick them in there. That'll be sufficient. Somebody's playing with the slime. It's fun and satisfying. It's fun and satisfying. Those are two words. So we have our fangs. Cha, 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 cha. I had to hunt these down. My daughter sort of scarfed them up. I'm like, okay, girl, what'd you I do? Hit them behind the door. What'd you do? <laughs> she was like, what did you do with the fangs? I was like, behind your door. So here we go, have a fang test of Halloween. Testing. And one more thing that I found that was pretty cool. I'll be watching you. Now, I thought this was kind of cute too. This is eye patches. And you take these cute little eye patches from Amazon, of course. Jenna, poke them in your eyeball. Another cute printable sheet. It says, I'll be watching you. Happy Halloween. Now, if I can get one of these little Halloween bags, I would paint the sun. These are some freaky looking eyes. We have this cute little eye patch. I'll wear it. <laughs> okay, here we go. We have this thing here. And what's really, what's very good to use are these blue dots, which are pretty, pretty interesting. I love blue dots. They're perfect for you what you need. All yeah, you could probably even punch a hole back here for the, um, for the patch or for the string on the patch. If it doesn't come with string, you can always buy string. No, it comes with string. It should. And just put that blue dot onto the flat, onto the paper, and adhere. And here we have, I'll be watching you, eye patches.
squishy. It's all squishy, and there's creepy crawlies in there. Oh, this is very stress relieving. It is, isn't it? I had to really fight my child for this because she she loves to wear these stupid little things. But hey, kids love them. And they're inexpensive. Bubbles, anyone? Ooh, love bubbles. The key is to give them something that they like, that they think is really cool, that they will value as much or more than the candy. That's and you right. hit right on it, my dear. I sure tried. I wanted to do the glow in the dark bracelets. Like the glow sticks. Yeah, but they have that little plastic piece that connects, and I just didn't want to give anything that a child could get choked on. Good thinking. That's so, why she's the craft queen. So that's so I went with these cute little glow in the dark bracelets that. Yeah, they'll enjoy it. And they're good for safety too, because they glow in the dark. That's right. So we hope that you enjoyed this video. I'm gonna keep squishing, because this is very stress relieving, and there's just a certain amount of satisfaction that comes from squishing it. If you try any of them, let us know. And if you've got any other ideas, tell us in the comment section below, because we love hearing from you. That's right, and on your way down there, if you have not already subscribed, if you would please hit that red subscribe button, and next to that button is a bell. And that bell will notify you each time we upload a new video. And you never know what we're gonna come up with. We got some plans, Lucy. And we'll have some splaining to do. Yes, we will. So until next time, we thank you so much. We wish you a happy fall, y'all. Fall, oh, y'all. We're Two Real Chicks. I'm Carla. I'm Cindy. And we love you. Bye. Bye.